The Dabulans have been soundly defeated, and now we have wonders to build, ring worlds to restore, and a few more titans to construct, at least one more titan to construct. Not to mention plenty of order to be maintained now that we have lots of rowdy Dabulan citizens currently in our empire. Hey there, Legion. It's Hadrian. Thank you for being here. Let's play some more Stellaris Ancient Relics in our Roma Galactica 2.5 series. So this is our titan, and it's on the way to join up with Classes 1. And while I'm thinking about it, I would like to go ahead and make sure Classes 2 gets a Titan as well. Let's make sure the fleets are matching in terms of their size. Seems that they are, but it also seems like we could maybe have... Hmm. Seven cruisers here. I don't remember making that adjustment, but... Yep. Okay, yeah, Classes... Classes 1 doesn't match that, so let's go ahead and crank that up. And did I see four? I did see four. Can I pull that off? Yes, I can. Excellent. Let's go ahead and give the order to, first of all, rebuild Classes 1. It's going to take a while because we are, believe it or not, out of minerals. But as I mentioned, we have some, some order to maintain. So there's some steps to take in the beginning of this episode just to make sure that everything is on the up and up. And now let's make sure audio is properly ducking, which it now is. So let's see what I've got here. We've got low stability in a couple of planets, but the very first thing that I want to take care of is our starbase capacity. Now I'm going to let one of these overages be dealt with by the research that I'm working on. We have 16 months remaining until Starbase Capacity Plus One is unlocked. We have 29 months remaining until the Dyson Sphere can be built, and three months until the Mega Cannon's done. But there's one more Starbase that I want to delete. And the Starbase that I have settled on for deletion is the Starbase in the Uril system. Now, there is not a planet in this system. I really looked through, because all of my Starbases are in pretty good spots. The trade value being collected by this guy is only six. So I'm going to go ahead and delete it after I turn off trade mode. There we go. <laughs> we're going to downgrade you. It's a citadel, so it makes me sad. And we're going to lose some naval capacity too. Not a lot, but a little. It'll change at the beginning of the next month, so we'll see that number go down. But one of the reasons we want to do this is that Starbase upkeep actually does increase rather a lot as a result of being over on that. So it's not the most punitive thing, but it also seems like we need to connect our new starbases to the existing trade, mer trade network, which is not an issue. I can take care of that. So we've got the Beej station that is looking for a connection. And there we go. And also this one, let's not forget. And this one. There we go. That's much better. I didn't select it properly the first time. Okay. And then Alpha Centauri now has a starbase that needs to be connected. I'm kind of amused that it doesn't have a connection currently, but that's easily resolved. Now, why are you still showing that you're not connected? Because you definitely are. Okay, now you are. If I connect you to Procyon. Whatever. Does Is there not a trade... Is that is it because that's the trade capital? It doesn't work that way? That's interesting. Yeah, there's a trade hub in Seoul. I don't know why it wouldn't select that. But anyway, we now have this station in um, Alpha Centauri. Let's go ahead and buy some minerals. Get that upgrade going. And we could potentially use some other minerals to rebuild some uh, some ships. But before we look at any of that stuff, what are we doing here? Now, we've got this gateway that's been built. And where are you at the moment? You're just hanging out right in the middle. We've got a couple of science ships that are doing jack nothing at the moment. And that's kind of annoying. So let's bring them back to... Yes, these are our main science worlds. Let's make sure that's still the case. Which are our main science worlds? We've got Emerita. Are you not going to tell me what system you're in if I don't click on you? You jerk. All right, so we have Augusta, Pacifica, and Earth. Mm -hmm. 
So not Aurora, but Pacifica. Are we really sure it's not Aurora, though? Let's take a quick look and make sure it's not. Pacifica really is a much better research world to be, re to be uh, assisting for a science ship. So that's what we'll do. And where is Pacifica exactly? That's what I was scrolling up for. <laughs> this massive outliner. All right. Is it here in Higma? Yes, it is. Go assist. All right, well, that's taken care of there. Now, I think we had sent... Yes, this is where we're going to have our Dyson Sphere. And then I also, as I mentioned in the end of the last episode, we're going to need to select a black hole somewhere in our territory. Around which we can... Oh, there's a Savannah world to be colonized there. I'll take care of that soon. We need a black hole. Come on. Can't hide from me forever. I know you're here. It'd be funny if I don't have a single black hole in my territory. I'd have to add one. Oh my god, I don't think I do. I don't think I do. I should have taken freaking Blorgsbane. Blorgsbane has an L-gate, so I don't know if that would allow me to build a matter decompressor. Hang on. See, this is the same trouble I got into when I couldn't find freaking Cybrix Alpha. So, I couldn't find that icon before, and I could be overlooking a vortex. Oh, yes, I am. The Eye of Ball. Okay, so you just became our candidate for the matter decompressor. Now, we don't have the minerals for it at the moment, but we will soon enough. Let's go ahead and send you there. And now, let's take a look at our... I guess, since I pulled up Edix, we'll see if there's anything I can do here. Exotic gases as fuel. Ah, don't need it at the moment. We're fine. Looking good everywhere else. Let's look at our species. All right, so the Bothrazoid, the Bothrazoid that we have in our empire cannot be modified any further. I probably need to go ahead and apply this Dabulin template to the majority of Dabulins in my empire. So let's go ahead and New sit rep. apply it. That'll be done in three months. And now let's go ahead and set their rights. They are set to residents. We can make them slaves, but we'll be nice to them. We've been a fairly benevolent Roman Empire this playthrough, so there's no reason to start being aggressive now. Right now, their living standards are that they have a stratified economy. I could make them happier, which would reduce unrest, which I'm currently seeing here by putting them on social welfare. Or, um... Do I have humans set to academic privilege? I'll have to check on that. Or I could set them to basic subsistence, and that would make them... <laughs> considerably less happy. Stratified economy is probably the best place to keep them for now. Yeah, I've got a couple of rogue humans, too, that need to be taken care of. But what are your rights? Yeah, you're an academic privilege, which is exactly what I want for them. So we actually, I mean, when you look at all the citizens we have in our empire, all the citizen species, we are um, fairly diverse, which is pretty cool. It's nice to see. I might go through and do more gene modding a little bit later, but for now I'm just focused on the Dabulans. And yeah, I'm not going to do anything on their rights, but I do have to take a look at the worlds that are having some issues with... Stability at the moment. So we're going to declare martial law temporarily here. And then there's a couple of things I can do to increase stability. Let me go ahead and... Well, we, we will need to establish a governor here, and that will help as well with stability. We also have some unemployment that I need to take care of, so we've got to manage these planets. Also, devastation. That's, that's going to reduce stability a good bit, so that'll slowly go away. Okay, I think these are already both being replaced. So many unupgraded buildings, it's almost breaking my brain to look at. But we can build a mineral purification hub here. And then I'm going to replace these commercial zones with... Oh, no, we already have precinct houses. Never mind. So what the hell am I going to build then? Hmm.
There does appear to be a bit of a housing issue at the moment, but again, that's mainly due to the devastation. So I want to wait. Let's go ahead and build gene clinics. How about that? All right, so that is the only world in which there's any real measurable unrest at the moment. So, God, I love this track so, so, so much. All right, we'll do this maintenance more towards the end of the episode. Let's go ahead and unpause and let things cruise for a bit. I guess I can go ahead and maintain this stuff now. Why wouldn't I? One thing I should do, let's pause for one moment longer and think about a sector here. If I establish a sector here, that would encompass their entire territory. So it makes sense in a lot of ways. All right, so this is part of the Nafgidium sector at the moment. Are you really not going to let me... See, they mentioned I need to go into the dev diaries and see if this is some, something they're adding in the Federation's expansion because sector control at the moment is really wonky and it doesn't seem like they're going to allow me. This is the sector capital for Nafgidium. So I suppose what this means now is that we just need to put a governor in Nafgidium. We haven't had one before. I'm taking a look at existing governors. We have Gallus Babius. <laughs> and he should probably be the governor because he's going to reduce building cost, district cost, and, planet, and increase planet build speed while also reducing crime. So we need to make sure that crime doesn't become an issue on these worlds we've just integrated. So we just moved our Saul governor away, which means we now need to probably just get a new one. I like the idea of just faster ship build speed and less cost in Seoul. That's also a young governor, so yeah, let's go with that. Metia Licinius is now governor in Seoul. All right, so there's that. Now, Naf Digo, let's do a little bit more building on these worlds that we just integrated. How about that? That's going to be dealt with before long. Maybe I just need to let some of these things build, though, before I do too much maintenance. And I, let, I need to let devastation go away. All right, Cybrix Alpha is in need of... Why don't we... We already have a uh, agricultural settlement building. However, I can also colonize using humans... Where are you? There you are. This is Cybrix Beta. And just to avoid redundancy, we're going to rename the Cybrix Alpha system Cybrix Prime. Which really oddly renamed Cybrix. Oh, wait. Okay. <laughs> I renamed that planet to Cybrix uh, Prime as well, but it didn't It didn't do it in reverse. Huh, might have just found a small bug. All right, let's go back to speed three now. We're going to have to let a few things build up before we make any further decisions. Now, of course, we did spend a little bit of time setting up that species modification for the Dabulans, so that's going to take us... That's going to slow down our starbase capacity research. I'm all right with it. Again, this is where our Dyson Sphere is going to be. And then we have a construction ship on the way to the Eye of Ball. Construction complete. What do we have here? All right, good. The Mega Cannons finally finished being researched. That's only been coming forever. So now, advanced strike craft, probably. Battleship build speed and battleship build cost. Let's go ahead and get better fighters. Won't take too long. Caledonia, you need... Hello. There's a fuming bog on Caledonia. Do I have gas set up already? Hold on. Why didn't I see it as an option? There it is. Gas destruction walls. I don't know why I didn't see that. But right, so that helps with that immensely. And then Favonius... An urgent missive from Dabble explains that a number of now former members of the Vengrul seek political asylum on the planet. The local administration has seen fit to pass the decision of what to do with them up to the chain or up the chain of command. 
all may contribute to the Roman Star Empire, like we were saying earlier. Nova Egyptus just unlocked a new building slot. Let's go ahead and upgrade our two Paradise Domes there. Or rather, luxury residences into Paradise Domes. And how are we doing on our rare resources? Construction complete. Moats might need a little bit of love. This is our very last building on this planet, though. So I need to think in terms of maybe like planetary shield generators, just in case we get problems later on. I haven't built too many of those, but starting to get planets filling up. So something worth thinking about. Out of housing here. City district, there it is. Scythia. Maybe the same thing here, unless I need a special resource. No. So let's go ahead and do the same. Let's do a planetary shield generator there. I know I said I would do this later in the episode, but we are waiting for some things to build up. Ooh, we are now in a mineral deficit. We'll have to uh, see what we can do to fix that. All right, we have an unemployed worker pop. All right, where do we have jobs open? All right, so there's a clerk job open on Nova Britannia. Lots of clerk jobs. So clerk jobs, words. Lots of them open, in fact. Any mining jobs open? That's what I want to know. No, just clerks. Primarily from city districts, I suppose. Here we go. So Triana. We're going to send this worker to Triana. Go away. Very good. And continue. Hopefully, I, I think the mineral deficit stands a pretty good complete. chance of, of self-resolving as some of these constructions Construction complete. complete. Construction I'm not particularly worried complete. about it because we can buy whatever minerals we need. Matter of fact, just to make sure that we stay well above defaulting. Just bought 10,000 minerals, just like that. Construction complete. Okay. You can see some workers moving around here. Now we have an unemployed... <laughs> Ironically, now we have an unemployed specialist pop. Now, technicians are workers right? Yes, they are. Hmm. I might just have to wait until the population here hits 70 and then that specialist pop will have something to do, or they'll downgrade one of the two. Governor Publius Decimius has developed new skills. He now has the environmental engineer trait. Good. We don't have a lot of blockers to clear, but when we do, that'll come in handy. I'm going to go ahead and build a mining district here. Looking for planets where there complete. is clear unemployment. Our pioneers have made planet fall. Construction complete. They can be resolved through additional complete. mining jobs. Uh, Construction complete. Interesting. We would like to extend our deal. Yes. I'm going to go ahead and build a mining district on a Boracum. That'll provide a little more housing. Just a little. And then I'll upgrade the residences there. That'll help a little bit more. Construction complete. Oh, good. I'm finding lots of places where I can provide these unemployed workers with new jobs. How close are we? Three months. Construction So complete. species modification is done. How close are we also to... Science Division reports a new breakthrough. 11 months away, and we still have four more diplomacy traditions to earn, unfortunately. All right, Advanced Strikecraft is done. Minerals from jobs plus 5%. Sounds like a pretty good idea at this point. I think I would rather go for the rare tech since it's available to me. Let's do that. And then Olympia also has an unemployed worker class pop. Bring me some food. You can see that my focus on food for the past couple of episodes has paid off. We now have a very nice food surplus, despite the fact that we just brought in several more members of our empire. 
several new member species, or rather, member pops, not new species. Probably should go through soon and make sure I've cleared all the blockers I can. What do we have here? Starbase cap is up. Good. All right, so that's now no longer an issue. Probably should go ahead and reduce administrative cap again. Fleet command limit plus 10 is also a good idea, but I'm happy with my current fleet composition, so let's keep pushing up against the admin cap. It's going to focus for a while. It will be interesting when Federations comes out because admin cap is becoming complete. more punitive. Playing tall is going to be... Or playing wide is going to be slightly different. All right, so we can see that... Well, I didn't quite let the mining... The mineral uh, deficit self-resolve. We definitely addressed it directly. Construction complete. But we can see that it's working out. Construction complete. Hmm. Let's go ahead and upgrade that. Okay, so now we have some more choices to make here. This is counting as a mining world at the moment, which is amusing to me. I'll go ahead and upgrade that, build a couple of mining districts, which should give me all the jobs that I need, and then upgrade some of the main growth-related buildings. Unrest seems to have gone away on Dobble. Stability is currently 56%. I'm going to leave martial law until things are a little bit better there. Let's reinforce the fleet. And that fleet. Ah! Looks like our patrol needs a little bit of upgrade love. Let's give that order. Also continue the upgrade on the Alpha Centauri base. And even before I do that, let's go ahead and build a hangar bay so that we can have that protection for the trade route. Alpha Centauri has been suffering and really having a lot of piracy pop up. Construction complete. Primarily due to the fact that there was just no station there. So there's not much left of the Dabulans. We've got lots of influence we can use to lay our next claims down, but some of that influence, again, is going to be used to uh, build our wonders. I'll need to keep that in mind. All right, so Gateway's been constructed in Baidon, which is great. So we now have... So we have a Gateway in Haribus. We have a Gateway in Saul... We have a gateway in Baidan. I probably should build a gateway down here. Fairly near that wormhole would be a good idea. Maybe even in the same system as the wormhole. But the thing is, I would also like the... Yeah, I like the idea of maybe the gateway being in Mindara. Because that's relatively close to the wormhole... Uh, it's four jumps, though. I like the idea of being able to just get to the wormhole immediately from anywhere else, because you never know when that could become a point of contention. How is our relationship with the Tavern Republic? Ha! Huh, not particularly good. They're pathetic compared to us, but if they ever decided that they wanted a piece of us, they could come straight through our wormhole and really cause a lot of problems. So, hmm. I would like to be one jump closer, though, so that if I were to use that gateway... I could get to the wormhole quickly, but also get to these systems quickly. Seems like the best choice is probably Tawagawa. So let's roll with it. Alright, we're going to build a gateway construction site right... Let's put it in the middle. There. Now, are you... Yeah. We need considerably more alloys, which is not necessarily an issue. 
But we just need to let them build out for a bit. Because I just complete. I spent a lot of them rebuilding ships. So we'll get there. How's our ring world restoration going? We have one more to queue up. Rising unemployment on Nuff Honest. Unemployment and poverty are spreading at an alarming rate on Nuff Honest. The sorry state of affairs is being exploited, rather, by local crime organizations who find themselves awash with both easy marks and desperate recruits. As a temporary solution, we can increase the unemployment benefits on the planet. It will not be cheap, but it will provide additional time to seek a more permanent solution, such as creating more jobs or improving the living standards of the affected population groups. We could also do nothing, but this would likely result in the formation of a significant criminal underworld on Nuff Honest. Okay, I can afford some additional consumer goods upkeep. So let's institute some increased benefits, and now let's take a look at the unemployment situation. Yeah, we've really got to deal with this. I didn't realize this was sitting this way. So how about we build a couple of mining districts, and let me go in and look at these other worlds that we've taken in. You're saying there's an unemployed pop, but there's already a mining district being built there. And then what about Dabble? Yep, already got all that queued up. Okay. Well, that's enough Empire Maintenance, I think, for one episode. Let's go ahead and select the tradition that we have available, since we just hit that 11-month mark. Market fee reduced by 10%, or base trade protection for trade routes increased by 5 Let's do secure shipping. Kind of reduce that piracy problem a little bit. And on that note, I will stop this one here. In the next one, we are going to continue stabilizing things. I think we'll be able to remove martial law on Dobble, which I'm so amused that we now control their capital. They're going to hate us for a long time as a result of that. They already hate us. But um, things are going pretty well. We have some additional Empire maintenance to do, but we also have a new Titan that is... All right, looks like the Titan has arrived with Classes 1. So we have a full fleet, stronger than ever, 50k for the first time. And then Classes 2, we're in the process of building this fleet up, and it's already at 42.4k. So things are looking quite good. We even might have room if we were to build up our naval capacity a little bit. We might have room to have a third fleet. We have a patrol fleet for Classes 3, but we could have a third battle fleet, and that would be a good thing to have prepared for the end game. But that's a decision for a future episode. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this one, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to follow along. New episodes are coming out every day at 4 p.m. U.S. Eastern Time. Comments are always welcome. Let me know what you think, and I'll see you next time.